Patrice from Kansas City said, Bethany, it looked like a harsh awakening when you realized you had no family to turn to when you got sick. Is that when you recently tried to reach out to your mom? No. My daughter said, is your mommy and daddy alive? And I said, my daddy's, my real daddy's not alive and my mommy is alive. Well, can I, I want to meet her. And I'm like, oh my God. And I uh, phoned her and she picked up and I just went into it. When was the last time you had talked to her? I mean, it has to be 15 years. Wow. I said, hi, and I said, you know, how are you? Where do you live? She said, I don't know much about you. I only know what I read. I said, well, you know that I have a daughter. And, you know, it was a very brief conversation, and I said I, I would come down, and she'd like to meet you. Did it make and you feel better when you hung up? It was a very intense week. A lot, a lot of changes happened recently. And um, I don't know. I don't know how it made me feel. There's so many things that have happened recently that I don't Maybe know. Maybe hopeful. It looks well, like it did. Do you think... You'll reach out to her again? No, I'm going to honor my commitment. Of course, I said I'm going to bring Bryn. And for her, she's not going to, she'll remember that we had that conversation. So I owe it to her. So I'll go down to Florida and we'll sit down. So, um. I think it's a brave thing you're going to yeah, do. And a good thing for your daughter. Yeah. Well, you had another huge moment, I know, recently, which is you visited your apartment for the first time that you and Jason moved in to. Look at this room. It's a home. This is like a home in the Hamptons, in Manhattan. Oh, my God. Dun, 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 dun. And he moved out, and you got the apartment back. And I know that was a really emotional experience for you. You thought it was going to be one thing, and it was another. What was it? Well, I'm the type of person that just plows through when it's on the calendar. You know, my calendar is like a cobweb, and it's just packed. And so it's like, oh, someone's going to have to stage the apartment because we're going to have to sell it. And we walked in the door. It was just barren. And I just, like, it all washed over me. So weird. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it's over. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is nuts. <laughs> I felt like throwing up. It just felt like a disgusting memory. Were you mourning the loss of the marriage? It was everything. It was, yes, it was the way, it was, it was, it was, it was the, the memories of moving in there and what it meant and the, it was the first thing I've ever purchased in my life. And then it was memories there and then it was the disintegration of this marriage and then it was how disgusting the divorce was. And all for naught, I thought I was gonna be like jumping up and down, you know, getting this apartment back and I was just in a ball. It didn't feel good. You're it, putting a period to all these things. What a great, no, what good. a great thing yeah, for the next year. It was disgusting, it was brutal.